Hello healers and health seekers, it's me, Ichoda, healing with medical medium information for three years and eight months now. Today, doing something a little bit different in my video. I wanted to talk about cleaning the juicer and cleaning the Vitamix, ha, oh, the banes of my existence. I've had Vitamixes for years and years and years, and even before doing medical medium, I always loved a smoothie. I can't even remember when I got my first Vitamix. Probably around 20 years I've owned Vitamixes. And cleaning them never really was an issue. Like if the containers got cloudy or whatever, no big deal. But then we lived in Wisconsin for 18 months and Wisconsin had the hardest water of anywhere I have ever lived. The mineral deposits were insane. So obviously not just from all the fruits and vegetables that we put in the Vitamix, but the water itself. And so my Vitamix got some dirty, dirty, dark stains on it. And with a medical medium lifestyle and a family of three, and I use that blender how many times a day? A minimum of three times a day, but it's really more like seven or eight all the time I'm using the blender. I don't really have time to deal with trying to figure out fancy ways of cleaning it or whatever that are going to be very labor intensive. But living in Wisconsin for 18 months with a blender and a juicer and the, uh, my juicer also just got really scummed up and I got curious. I'm like, I wonder if this stuff even can come off. So I decided to do a little experiment. And so I took my Omega juicer and I took my Vitamix and I took the advice of the blender lady. She has a website that's all about everything you could ever possibly want to know about owning a Vitamix and taking care of a Vitamix and everything about Vitamixes. It's a really thorough website. Of course I'll link it below. You know I will. This is not a sponsored endorsement or anything like that. It's just I happened to buy my last refurbished Vitamix through her and I found her website and it's just such a thorough wealth of information. So her advice was try baking soda paste and so I thought okay let's do an experiment here's my experiment I decided I'm gonna videotape this experiment here we go onward ho I wanna do a before video of my bite mix I wanna show you this is the cannot scratch it off and I've had Vitamixes for years I've never had anything like this happen before to a Vitamix. Oh, let me show you the inside there. See in there? It's like black. <laughs> it's so dark. It's really dark brown. And you can't scrape it off. But I've never lived in a place that had water as hard as Wisconsin before. So that hard water, plus, I mean, you can feel it. These mineral deposits are intense. So I'm gonna see if the baking soda paste works. Just put a big squirt of seventh generation and just doing hot water. And I can't, definitely can't get the top of this with that because it'll just spray out everywhere. But I am going to try to do the lower bits of the blender. See how that goes. See how that doesn't even start to scrape off there? When I was pushing the tamper against it, it doesn't even touch it. That is, look how dark that is. You can really see it against the white, foamy stuff like how dirty it is. Oh my gosh. This was not full. That's crazy. It's the foam. Made it too full. So currently, I have my juicer parts soaking in baking soda and water. This one is soaking in baking soda and water. The tamper, all the other parts. Then I'll make a paste out of baking soda and a little less water. I'm going to try to scrub all of this. Let's see what happens. Now I'm going to make a paste with this baking soda and some water and then we'll see what we can scrub. Pretty good amount of baking soda in here. Adding just a little bit of water, not too much. And because baking soda is caustic, I don't want it all over my skin. I put my gloves on. Make sure it's nice and mixed up. See how it's all goopy? Goop, goop. Now we're gonna see what we can scrub with it. 
Look at that. Oh, it's so dirty. Can you look at that buildup? It's amazing. Yep. It is filthy. All right, put scrubbing in fast motion so we can see. Look at that. It's coming clean. Oh my goodness. It's much more satisfying in fast motion. This took a really long time to scrub and scrub and scrub. See, it's coming clean. The baking soda paste is working. I have to say that this was the most satisfying piece to scrub. I learned along the way that the different plastics really do hold mineral buildup differently. And this one was the absolute most satisfying piece to scrub because the difference is so incredibly obvious. Look at that. Look how fast it comes off. Not really. I sped this up, obviously. This thing took me like 20 minutes to scrub total. Look at that, it is coming so clean here. I wish it really was like this fast in real life. 20 minutes later. Time for the auger. The black plastic. You can't see it real well because it's wet, but there is a lot of mineral buildup in there. I showed it in the pictures before in the beginning. Let's get scrubbing. And I'm not gonna bore you watching the scrubbing and scraping because it's just not satisfying to watch it come off of black plastic because you can't really see it. And this is the drain tray. I don't know what to call this, but yep, here we go. This is white. This wasn't actually, there wasn't much to it. So again, I'll skip ahead. The juicing screen. Yeah, so the juicing screen had a lot of mineral buildup. I don't know if you can see that sort of yellowish, like that's all mineral buildup in there. It took a lot of scraping and scrubbing for this. So probably about, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes in, you can see I took this big clump of baking soda paste and just shoved it in there and decided to let it sit for a while. <laughs> Let's just let it soak a little longer and we'll work on the end cap. Let's scrub that end cap out. It's white plastic, much more satisfying to scrub. You get to see the results. It's nice. See? Look at that. How fast it cleans up. Not really. But in this video it does. <laughs> it looks fast, doesn't it? Oh, I like seeing that dirty part because look how it just cleans up. So white. It's so nice. All that mineral buildup coming off of there, nice and fast. And this is where I finally decide to take the silicone ring off. Oh, look how dirty that is in there. Oh, that's pretty gross. It's not the worst I've seen, even in my own juicers. So scrubbing it up. Ah, look at this. I'm making a big old mess. There's baking soda all over the honey container. It's everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna have so much to clean up later. Two hours later, just kidding. So now I'm cleaning the tamper. This doesn't take very long cause it's really small. Clean. And the container, I don't know what this is called. It doesn't look as scrubby as the first picture I showed you and as minerally built up because this is actually a different juicer than I showed you in the first pictures. But I was able to clean both of them to at least my satisfaction. Ah, and then at one point I thought, you know what, let me try to clean this auger some more. And then I thought, no, you know what, let me soak this some more. So I put more baking soda in. And then after a little while, 
of soaking, probably about 20 more minutes, I set to scrubbing. But again, black plastic, not very satisfying to watch scrubbing, so I will forward through that. Instead, now here we go, we're gonna start scraping. Scraping and scraping. I had to do a lot of scraping on this one. For some reason, the black plastic, it just requires a lot more scraping. Yeah, very exciting, okay. I won't make you sit through this. Now we're at the juice extractor. This one's pretty satisfying, but also took a lot of scraping because of all of the metal bits having so much mineral deposits on them. I had to do a lot of scraping for this. Again, not gonna make you sit through it. And here we have the smaller container. It's, it's got a decent amount of mineral deposits on it. It's been soaking in the baking soda water. This container again, I ended up soaking this again in its own baking soda water because it was so difficult to get it to fully fit into a container with other pieces. So I just gave it its own soak while I was scrubbing other pieces. So this is me scrubbing like the last bit of it. I did have to do a bit of scraping to get off those mineral deposits, but it had been a long time <laughs> since I uh, cleaned this in this way. And here we go, the Vitamix. It's time. First, I decided to see if I could scrub it without soaking it. This is after I had done the soap and water. You can see all of the dirty mineral spots. We've, we've looked at these before, I think, but here we go. Yep, it's filthy. We got it. All right, let's see if we can get this thing clean at all just with no soaking. A little bit. Ah, oh, look at the brush. Ah. Gonna do some side action here so you can really see. Yeah, you can see it come clean. Oh, that brush. More baking soda. The Vitamix container I find very satisfying to clean because you can see the clear. And then I said, I think I'm gonna soak this a little bit. Baking soda goop. Mixing it all up, pouring it in. Pouring this water in because I am going to soak the Vitamix for a while before continuing to scrub it. Get it all in there. Okay, the angle of being able to see this scrubbing. See, now you can just watch it come clean. This is, this is satisfying. Oh, that's nice. Again, gotta wish it happened this fast in real life. Look at all those mineral deposits just disappear. Beautiful. Then I went ahead and gave it a spin in the blender. Did a little more scrubbing. Muffins the pug wanted to be in the video. Actually, she's saying, please pick me up. I wanna see what's going on. Please pick me up. Please, please pick me up. No, okay. Ah, the juicer parts. Just laying them out here. Clean, ta-da! Looks pretty good. All right, you know how when it's wet, you can't really see what you miss? Well, that's 
proof of that right there. But if you see on the inside, the metal part, I got it pretty clean. I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, I could give it another baking soda scrub and probably get the rest of that stuff off, but am I going to? No, no, I'm not. Yeah, again, black. You can see it better when it's dry. But it's mostly clean. Compared to the beginning, it looks pretty good. Ah, oh, the most satisfying piece. Oh, man. Look at that, so clean, so clean. I love it. By far the most satisfying to watch clean, to get it clean and the easiest kind of plastic to clean. And that white's looking pretty white, pretty shiny, pretty good. Same with this one. This one, you can see a little bit on the bottom that I missed there, but it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, again, when it's wet, you cannot see what you missed. But I did get it pretty clean. It looks a heck of a lot better than it did, and I will take it. Tamper's pretty clean, too. And here we have the Vitamix container. Look at it. It is not clear and shiny like it was when it was new. That is not happening. But what is happening is it's relatively clear. You can see some spots that I missed somehow. I don't, I don't know how. I felt like I scrubbed it forever, but yeah, that's, that would be one of them. Thanks, Thumb. All right, you're not gonna scrape it off. But overall, it looks a heck of a lot cleaner than it did. I call it successful. It looks pretty good. As you can see, it was a lot, a lot of scrubbing. It was a lot, a lot of work. It really took a great amount of time. The Vitamix was probably easier. The juicer, we did have good success getting the stuff off the juicer, but am I gonna use this as a regular method of cleaning? No, no I'm not, because it takes a long time, it took days, and then I decided to go ahead and clean my backup juicer, which was my original juicer, which has the most stuff on it, the most mineral buildup, because it is the juicer that got used in Wisconsin. So the one I cleaned for this video is actually the one that we've only had for a few months, and it already had that much buildup on it, that much mineral buildup, because I use my juicer multiple times a day. I use it at least three times in the morning for celery juice for the three family members that I have, and then I use it more times a day for other juices that I make throughout the day if I'm having extra juices that day. But the good news is that I know that it is a useful way to clean up that mineral buildup. So perhaps once a year, I will sit down with a big vat of baking soda paste water and scrub them again. But the soaking definitely seemed to be more effective than just starting from scratch with the baking soda paste and scrubbing. Because of the amount of time I spend just making food and making juices and preparing things because we don't eat out or anything like that, yeah, I think would probably limit this to maybe once, possibly twice a year, but I know me and my family and it'd probably be more like once a year. But it's good to know that it can be done. I read on the Blender Lady site that you're supposed to, after every single use of your Vitamix, you're supposed to wash it out wipe it clean with a microfiber cloth and that is how you will keep it sparkly and shiny and clear and I, ain't nobody got time for that so mine is not going to be sparkly and shiny and clear ever and that's fine by me <laughs> because i'm too busy using it <laughs> so <laughs> we rinse it out between every use but i'm not going to wash it 
and do the whole thing and then like dry it out with a microfiber towel because that's I already hand wash my dishes. I don't have time to do extra. That's too much. But if you are somebody who doesn't use it as frequently, well, you probably wouldn't have that kind of mineral buildup either. But that's all the fruits and vegetables we eat because that's what we eat all the time. <laughs> anyway, I hope this video was useful, even just to demonstrate that it can be done. You can clean all that mineral buildup off. It is possible. It depends on how long you want to just sit there and chip away at it too. I did not necessarily want to sit there and chip away for hours and hours to get it like perfectly, perfectly clean. I'm, I'm happy with a certain level and then I'm like, okay, that's good enough. <laughs> Cause I get tired. My hands started, hurt. my hands started hurting. That's why my husband had to sub in. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. I hope it was helpful in some way. Thank you so much for watching it. If you like it, please give a thumbs up below. You can subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. You can ding the bell next to it if you want to be notified when I post a new video. This is not my usual kind of content, but I don't know, I might do more stuff kind of like this. I want to do a juicer comparison pretty soon. We'll see. If I get the new Omega MM 900 HDS, I think it is, celery juicer, oh, I really am pining for that because I think it could save us a lot of money on celery because it uses so much of the celery and so little pulp. I also think that juice is going to be really strong. When and if I get it, <laughs> I do plan on getting it. I will do a video about that, reviewing that versus my regular awesome super omega juicer, which I love. Okay, <laughs> thank you again. Stay curious, my healers and health seekers. Remember that you can heal. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.